Hey guys, what's going on? This is Gangren. Here we go for a new tutorial. Today I'll teach you how to make your own police, fire truck, or ambulance texture. What do you need? You need Adobe Photoshop, which is a payware, or you could also use the GIMP, which is a freeware. You need the template of the car you want to make the texture for, and you need some pictures that you can use to make your skin so it would be better if you could get all side of the car but if you can't then deal with what you've got so on this tutorial we are going to make a Clinton ambulance texture so let's start Photoshop by making a right click on the template of the car alright so as you can see there is a locker on the right of the layer which we gotta have to delete so first duplicate the layer then delete the one with the locker and here we go so we are going first to make the details of the car such as the text and those black lines so let's start with this line here so take a minute to look where it is the size because we are going to make it visually so okay all right let's try feel free to zoom in so you can be comfortable select the rectangular marquee tool and create a new layer and then you are ready to start so one last time okay so start making it right here okay I think it's okay yep and use the paint bucket tool and make sure where you have selected the black color in here and left click on the rectangular marquee alright now let's make a right click on the layer go on blending options go on stroke and we are going to select the yellow orange color here so to get the right color just save the picture open it on photoshop here and use the eyedropper tool zoom in and select the color alright shall be okay let's make sure it's the right one yeah so like I said make a right click go on blending option then stroke and then select the color feel free to reduce the size one shall be okay or two maybe yeah two or three yeah two is okay all right so we've got our first line here okay so now let's make this part S we are going to use the uh, mm, mm, the pen tool zoom in alright so where mm -hmm. Okay, so we are going to select 
which is so here 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 and here all right then let's make it um as a selection so go on path and then click let's set the path as selection and as you can see it's now a transformation thing so just press del and this is it you've got this and now we are going to make the over black lines here with the pen tool so let's start here which is not good all right here it shall be okay all right now it shall be perfect mm. Let's just make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, like that. Then here. By the way, to cancel the latest action, just press Alt plus Z or Control Alt Z. And here we go. No. Mm, it should be okay now. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, now it's better. So go on path, then set it as a selection and use the paint packet. And this is it. This is it. All right, so now we are going to make to add the text or not. Let's finish first with the black lines on the top now. So let's get it done. All right, we are going to use the rectangular market tool again select the top no here it shall be okay I think yep pen use the pen bucket tool and yeah it's okay so you can try to set the opacity to 50% or less to make sure that it's okay. Yeah, it is. Mm. Yep, we can go back to 100% for the opacity. Alright, so we've got the top here and here done. 
so now we can add the text so let's go let's use the um, eyedropper tool to select the color of the text so zoom in select the color okay yep this one should be okay just gonna make sure mm, yep Alright, let's start adding the text. So, first add and rescue squad on the middle. So, select the text tool, horizontal type tool, and add the text. So, it's over here. Where is that? First, add and rescue squad. Let's resize the text because it's really big. So I'm going to use Arial or maybe I shall use something else. Alright, let's use Arial here. Yeah, it's okay. And go on the text size and 24 shall be okay actually. Yeah. Let's delete this. Okay. It should be okay here. I think we're good. Let's make sure. Yep. All right. Now let's add the ambulance. Here, ambulance, or actually, yep. select Ariel again. So to s get the change working you need to select the text you want to change so for example if i want to change the police of the amb i will just select amb and then change the value and it will only get affect what i selected as you can see okay so why isn't it working That's weird. Alright, now it should be okay. Now let's set the text size at no fourteen is too small. Twenty four, yep, it's okay. Okay, 30 maybe, yeah, 30 is perfect. Yep, alright, so we've got the ambulance. And now let's add the unit number 4551. 
so there is one on the left on the door so let's place it here 455 1 let's use 12 for the size yeah it's perfect or maybe we should use 15 yeah 15 is way better so let's move it all right now let's just duplicate this layer the 455 one and use the move tool to get it here on this yep here it should be okay just go back on the type tool click on the text then select it and get a bigger size so it was 15 maybe 24 yep 24 is okay Go back on the move tool and place it correctly. Okay, so now we've got it. Okay. We just have to add a link to their website, so www. So let's go on here so there is no mistake here. Control C to copy then add a new text here just delete the HTTP and let's use 18 yeah 18 is perfect alright it's perfect Now we are going to add the magical logo. So go on Google and try to find it. Mm, Google picture. Alright, where is it? Uh, yeah, something like this one. All right, let's try with oh, oh, maybe yeah, medical symbol. No, yeah, this one emergency medicine symbol, yeah, emergency medicine symbol. All right, now we've got something better. We just need to find a good one. Come on. Mm, I think this one shall be okay. Let's make sure. Yep. Or maybe this one. You know what? Let's use this one. And we are going to make some changes to use only what we want. Right, let's first make sure there is no over let's choose the ambulance logo ambulance symbol oh yeah this one is perfect we're going to use this one so just save the picture open it on photoshop and use the um, what are we going to use actually yeah the magic wand tool don't forget to 
duplicate the layer because there is a lock on it so delete the one with the lock all right so now let's select the magic one tool click on the white part and then delete so we can get the transparency then duplicate the layer and select the template okay and here we go we've got it in here so we are going to reduce the size so it can fit with the ambulance to resize the picture just press Ctrl T and then go on the small things on the right top or top right and reduce it all right I think it's okay here let's put it over here or here yeah here is okay Mm, yep. And this is it. I think we have done with the details. Oh yeah, we have to add Clinton on the top. That's the last detail. So we'll go over here and write Clinton. Mm, 36, yep, 36 shall be okay. Let's make sure. Yep, 36. Let's use the move tool to place it on the center. Use the text tool again. Select Clinton. And let's make sure we can do nothing else. 38 will be better actually or even 40 yeah 40 is way better all right so we are going to make it quick mm, yeah let's use some let's try something so right click on it blending option stroke and yeah it shall be okay why can't oh yeah because it's useless in here so let's try for the first add and rescue squads blending option stroke yeah let's set it at free yeah, three or maybe two actually. Yeah, two is better. Same for ambulance. Blending option, stroke. Make it at two. Okay. Uh, blending, not the link to their website. Don't need the stroke things because it's on the black line so we won't see anything and that's it we have finished let's now make the same thing for the other side so we are not going to make everything again we are just going to duplicate all of the um, layer we have already done so let's use the move tool so as you can see it's on the other side so go on edit sorry transform and flip horizontal all right so now it's working we just need to get it fit with the ambulance so let's get it here no, so we are going to. So it looks like the template isn't perfect actually. Here shall be okay. Yep. Here it is way better. 
right then do the same for everything else here okay 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 here come on here should be okay no it's not right here it's perfect and now this same duplicate layer on the door okay We are going to put it here, which will be more logical. Nope. Same for this. Here for the ambulance. Okay, and the last thing. Hmm. What is that? Okay. The magical logo. This. here okay and I think there is something right down here I think it's ambulance so let's add it quickly and then we will have finish so go here use the text tool and add ambulance mm. yep. 30 might be too big so let's use not 12 not 14 24 maybe yeah 24 is way better let's make sure it's okay mm. yeah okay and looks like there is the magical logo next so let's duplicate it and resize it no resize it again and here we go all right let's duplicate it on the left side because i saw it on both sides okay perfect 
now it's okay and I think we are done let's now paint the ambulance in red here so select the first layer which is background copy which is the template delete it and create a new layer so we won't have any problem P put it in first and here we go now we have done let's export it as a png so we can try it on eflc or iv and make sure there is no mistake if there is any mistake or you need to ed edit something just save the um, photoshop files so you won't have to restart from the beginning and when you want to export it for Grand Theft Auto just go on file save for web and devices make sure you've you have selected PNG 24 here and then click on save select the location save and this is it you've got your texture just use spark for to change the default texture of the car and that's it thanks for watching please rate comment and subscribe